all right so welcome again let's go we are still treating complex numbers okay now let's take a look at this the second example on root of complex numbers okay now let's take this question find the six sixth root of the complex number z is equal to minus one plus zero i find the six sixth root of the complex number z is equal to minus one plus zero i okay now i will say that root of complex number has the formula w is equal to r raised to power one all over n open bracket cos open bracket theta plus two k pi all over n close bracket plus i sine open bracket theta plus two k pi all over n close bracket where k is equal to zero one two three continuously until n minus one okay good let's go you know our con we have the complex number z is equal to minus one plus zero i okay so let's find our r r is equal to minus one squared plus zero squared so zero squared is zero okay so minus one squared is one so we have square root of one is equal to one so we have our r is equal to one let's also find our theta so we have theta is equal to tan inverse of zero all over minus one so zero divided by minus one is equal to zero so tan inverse of zero is equal to zero so we can see that this angle zero it doesn't correspond so we're going to add 180 so we're going to have 180 degree so our theta is equal to 180 degree so we're going to have z is equal to one Open bracket cos 180 degree plus i sine 180 degrees. Okay, now let's go. We have wk is equal to 1. Our r is equal to what? 1. And then our n is equal to 6. We're going to have 1 raised to power 1 all over 6. Open bracket cos. We have our theta to be 180. Then we have 180 plus k times we have 2 pi. 2 pi is equal to 360. So we have 360 all over 6. Close the bracket plus i sine 180 plus k times 360 all over 6. Where k is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, tl, n minus 1. Okay? Now let's go. When we say 1 raised to power 1 all over 6 is equal to what? 1. So 1 times everything here. It remains the same okay so we have cos we will say 180 divided by 6 is equal to 30 and then 360 divided by 6 is equal to 60 okay so we have cos 30 plus k times 60 degree plus i sine 30 plus k times 60 degrees where k is equal to 0 1 2 3 tn minus one okay now we're going to find for k equal to zero one two three four and five we have the six sixth root as follows where k is equal to zero we're going to have open bracket cos 30 plus our k is what zero so we have zero times 60 plus i sine 30 plus 0 times 60 hello you discover that we are no longer using our 1 raised to power 1 all over 6 because 1 raised to power 1 all over 6 is 1 so 1 times everything here is the same so we decide not to use it okay now let's go we have where k is equal to 0 we have w0 equal to cos 30 plus 0 times 60 close bracket plus i sine 30 plus 0 times 60 okay so 0 times 60 is equal to 0 and then 0 plus 30 is equal to 30 so cos 30 cos 30 is going to give us root 3 all over 2 we have plus i sine 30 is going to give us 1 all over 2 i okay good now let's go where k is equal to 1 we're going to have cos 
30 plus 1 times 60 plus i sine 30 plus 1 times 60. So 1 times 60 is 60. 60 plus 30 is equal to 90. So we're going to have cos 90 plus i sine 90. Okay. So cos 90 is equal to 0. And then sine 90 is equal to 1. So 1 times i is i. i plus 0 is i. Okay. Good. Let's go. For where k is equal to 2. I'm going to have cos 30 plus 2 times 60. Cross bracket plus i. Sine 30 plus 2 times 16. So 2 times 16 is going to give us 120. So 120 plus 30 is going to give us 150. Okay. So we're going to have cos 150 degrees plus i sine 150 degrees so when we say cos 150 degrees going to give us minus root 3 all over 2 then we have plus sine 150 degrees is, is equal to 1 all over 2i okay so we have minus root 3 all over 2 plus 1 all over 2i okay now let's go where k is equal to 3 we're going to have cos 30 plus 3 times 60 okay cos 30 plus 3 times 60 close bracket plus i sine 30 plus 3 times 60 okay yes now let's go i'm going to have 3 times 60 going to give us 180 so 180 plus 30 degrees is equal to 210 okay good we have cos 210 plus i sine 210 okay so when you say cos 210 it's going to give you minus root 3 all over 2 then when you say sine 210 it's going to give you minus 1 all over 2 then minus 1 all over 2 times i then we have minus 1 all over 2i. Okay? Yes. Now let's go. Where k is equal to 4. We're going to have w4 is equal to cos 30 plus 4 times 60. Close bracket plus i sine 30 plus 4 times 60. So 4 times 60 is equal to 240. So 240 plus 30 is equal to 270 degrees so we have cos 270 degrees plus i sine 270 degrees so when we say cos 270 degrees going to give us zero and then when we say sine 270 degrees going to give us minus one so minus one times i is going to give us minus i so therefore we have zero minus i or we'll just simply say minus i okay now let's go we also have where k is equal to 5. So where k is equal to 5, we have w5 is equal to cos 30 plus 5 times 60. Close bracket plus i sine 30 plus 5 times 60. Okay? So when we say 5 times 60, is equal to 300 so 300 plus 30 is equal to 230 then we have then we have cos 330 degrees plus i sine 330 degrees so when you say cos 330 degrees it's going to give you root 3 all over 2 then when you say sine 330 degree it's going to give you minus 1 all over 2 so minus 1 all over 2 times i is equal to minus 1 all over 2 i all right yes this is the root of complex number we have w to be where so 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 number is this where k okay you get it yes let's go